Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ridge Reels, Taylor's Insistence, and Steffi's Brutal Reminder. The bold and the beautiful is finally here. In tomorrow's episode, Rich Forrester will be reeling from Taylor Hayes' shocking revelation. Coming up. Meanwhile, Brooke Logan reminds Steffi Forrester Finnegan of Ridge's commitments. Keep reading to find out what happens in the next episode of the CBS soap opera, Taylor Hayes' Medical Bombshell. According to BNB, Ridge will be stunned by Taylor's shocking revelation. After passing out at the Brooks' bedroom photo shoot, Ridge demanded answers from Taylor. Ridge wanted to get Taylor checked out in the hospital, but she refused. Finally, Taylor had to tell Ridge the truth because he would not let it go. Read more. Brooke Logan makes ultimate sacrifice on the bold and the beautiful. Finally, at the end of the episode, Taylor informed Ridge that she was dying from heart failure. Taylor also told Ridge that she did not have much time left. B&B Ridge Forrester Reels Taylor's revelation will leave on Ridge reeling. Ridge will want to know every detail. When Taylor acknowledges she hasn't had any testing, Ridge will most likely encourage her to get it done. Ridge might even advise Taylor seek a second opinion. In the meantime, Taylor will urge Ridge not to inform Steffi. Ridge might comprehend Taylor's argument, but he recently went through a similar predicament with Eric. So, Ridge, would you really conceal this from Steffi? The Bold and the Beautiful Steffi Forrester Finnegan's Obsession The Bold and the Beautiful reveals that Steffi appears to be obsessed with reuniting her parents. Despite Ridge being in a relationship and engaged to Brooke Logan, Steffi remains obsessed on him. Taylor has informed Steffi several times that she is okay with things as they are. Aside from the covert heart failure, of course. Read more The Bold and the Beautiful Weekly, Taylor's Devastating News. B&B. &B. Fans may also observe Lee Finnegan learn about Taylor's collapse. Perhaps Taylor informs Riege that Lee is aware, or the good doctor discovers the information in another way. Expect Lee to aggressively push Taylor to call those specialists and have some testing done. Lee will also push Taylor to be honest with her family. Ridge is aware, but Taylor's children should be as well, especially since Thomas Forrester is still in Paris. If Thomas knew his mother was dying, he'd want to spend every moment with her. So, where does Thomas fit into this equation and what is the outcome? Share your opinions in the comments area below. Continue to watch the soap on CBS or Paramount Plus to find out what happens next. Taylor tells Ridge about her illness. Ridge witnessed Taylor collapse in the Forrester salon, taking with her the curtain divider. He dashed to her side, calling out to her. Taylor regained consciousness, and Ridge started calling for an ambulance. She sat up and stopped him. Ridge insisted, but Taylor refused, warning him not to upset Steffi by telling her what had occurred. Ridge remained concerned, but Taylor told him that she had already been checked out. He wrapped his jacket about her and inquired as to what was happening. Taylor said that she had seen a doctor in Europe and persuaded him not to worry about her, claiming she could care for herself. Ridge demanded to know what Taylor was discussing. She stated that she'd had a few of those incidents before. When he questioned what was wrong, Taylor disclosed that she had heart failure. I do not have long to live. I am dying, Ridge. I'm dying, she admitted. In Eric's office, Finn told Steffi that Hope was not on his radar and that he only cared about his wife. Finn advised Steffi not to worry about Hope. Steffi, on the other hand, refused to let Hope stop staring. Love General Hospital, B&B, &B, Days, or other soap operas. Join the debate on our SC forums. Click here to interact with fans and participate in debates immediately. Eric arrived, excited following the previous live performance, feeling it would be ideal for Brooke's line. He said that he had not seen Ridge that motivated in a long time. Steffi believed it was because Taylor had an unbreakable heart and spirit. Finn, Eric, and Steffi all express fondness for Taylor. Eric acknowledged Ridge's strong feelings for Brooke, but emphasized that Ridge and Taylor had an unshakable bond. Steffi consented stating that her parents would be connected until their final breaths. Later, after Eric had left, Finn saw that Taylor's presence had a favorable effect on Steffi, who appeared more grounded. Steffi emphasized how valuable it was to have her mother around and how her family felt complete with Thomas in Europe and Ridge with Brooke. 
However, she argued that her parents, Thomas, and she remained a family, and nothing could disrupt that. She never wanted to be separated from her mother again. Hope told Carter in the design studio that the bedroom line was her mother's passion, but Carter believed a crossover could rekindle HFTF's enthusiasm. Hope giggled, ashamed that Carter had thought of her in lingerie. He joked that it was good for business but then apologized for overstepping. Hope commented that it was comforting to know someone was thinking of her in lingerie, given how long it had been for her. Carter was astonished and laughed. Hope recalled that the last person to see her in lingerie was Thomas, who had since relocated to another continent. Carter noted that it was the scourge of office romances, something he knew all too well. Hope reflected on Carter's romance with Quinn. And look how that turned out, Carter remarked confessing that hurting others was his biggest regret in life. Eric entered, looking for Zen's couture sketch. He expressed respect for Brooke's previous photo session. Looking at Carter, Hope stated that Brooke was the best at modeling lingerie. Carter was surprised when Eric left that he had forgiven him for the Quinn affair. Carter stated that business romances were not advisable. Hope concurred, claiming it was a horrible idea to work with her main designer. This is a bad idea. Never again. No way, she replied, smiling at Carter. Carter stressed that office romances should not occur, even if two attractive people are involved. Hope mocked the notion, claiming it was dangerous and risky. Carter approached, and Hope was nervous having him in her space. Returning the conversation to her in lingerie, she stated that she would think about it. I'll think about it too, Carter said. Hope dropped a fabric swatch, and as they crouched to pick it up, Carter handed it back to her. Katie went to Ayel Giardino for lunch with her kid. Will was excited to discuss his father's proposition for reconciliation. Katie inquired as to how he felt about it, but Will emphasized that his primary interest was her happiness. He questioned whether she believed Bill was honest. Katie admitted that Bill had improved himself, and she thought he meant what he said nowadays. Will confirmed that, aside from his children, Katie was the best thing that had happened to Bill who had broken the family apart with his affair with her sister. Katie mentioned that there were numerous extenuating circumstances, and it had been a long time since. Will informed her that he didn't need his parents to be together, and didn't want her to take Bill back for him. Katie realized that Will and Bill's relationship was strained. Will confessed that while he admired his father, he wished Bill could set a better example. Will didn't think he was anything like his father, who, in Will's opinion, enjoyed chasing women and destroying businesses. He believed Katie had cried far too many tears over Bill, and it was time to say enough. Katie was relieved that Will had acknowledged his views as their meal came to a conclusion. Will mentioned easing back into his connection with Bill, who forgot Will was no longer a youngster. Katie reminded him that no matter what happened, he would always be her baby. Will admitted that when Bill deceived Katie, he felt betrayed too. Katie didn't think Bill would hold Will's feelings against him. Will told her that he would not harbor a grudge. She highlighted the need of continuing communication. As they prepared to leave, Will revealed that he was moving schools, believing that home was where he needed to be. Katie was overjoyed but didn't want to get her hopes up. Will said that he had to be there to protect her. Katie hugged him tight. Quinn mentioned Ridge's grim discovery, and Carter and Hope flirted. The Bold and the Beautiful recap for Monday, September 30th, 2024, has finally arrived. In today's episode, Rich Forrester Torsten K. hears about Taylor Hayes' Rebecca Budig heart failure diagnosis. The Bold and the Beautiful recap highlights Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, and Hope Logan, Annika Noel, continue to flirt. Will Spencer, Crew Morrow, informs Katie Logan, Heather Tom, of his transfer. B&B Spoilers, John Finnegan's Reassurance According to the B&B recap for Monday, September 30th, Taylor is still passed out. Ridge rushes over and attempts to wake her up. John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, and Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes would kiss in the Forrester Creation CEO's office. Finn informs Steffi that Hope isn't on his radar. Steffi reasoned that Finn was on Hope's radar. Finn exclaims how lovely Steffi is. Steffi smiles as they kiss again. Carter tries to convince Hope to support his proposition. Hope thinks lingerie is more her mother's thing. That's why Carter believes Hope should do it.
Carter believes it will set HFTF on fire again. Hope explains that it means Carter has been thinking about her in lingerie. Katie and Will wait for a table at Ayel Giardino. Will has learned everything about the restaurant and its history. Katie said that is still one of her favorite eateries. Will wants to speak with Katie about Bill Spencer. Don Diamant. The opening credits. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Will Spencer's truth bomb. Will and Katie get a table. Katie wonders how Will would react if she did rejoin with Bill. Will is no longer a child, and it makes no difference what he believes or desires. Will is primarily concerned about his mother. Carter admits he's been fantasizing about Hope in lingerie, but it's good business. Hope believes Carter is merely complimenting her. Carter insists he is not and wonders whether he is overstepping. Hope says it's been so long that she's glad someone is thinking about her in underpants. Carter and Hope chuckle. Finn convinces Steffi that she does not need to worry about Hope. Eric Forrester, John McCook, comes in and interrupts. Eric is delighted with how things is progressing. Eric gushes over Brooke's bedroom success. Eric acknowledges it was Ridge's instinct. Eric admires Ridge's zeal and excitement right now. Steffi agrees and credits Taylor. Ridge is still attempting to help Taylor. Taylor finally starts to stir. As Ridge discusses taking her to the hospital, Taylor begins to sit up. Taylor begs Ridge not to do it and physically pushes the phone away. Read more the bold and the beautiful spoilers. Ivy and Finn's chance for romance Steffi's surprise marriage threat? Katie believes that Bill is serious and has worked on himself. However, Katie's voice seems hesitant. Will informs his mother that Bill understands how much he fouled things up. Will discusses Katie's dedication. Will claims that Bill tore their entire family apart by having an affair with Katie's sister, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang. Katie gives a disappointed sigh. Katie does not want Will to blame Bill or Brooke. Katie claims it happened years ago, and there were numerous extenuating circumstances. Will advises Katie that if she wants to reunite with Bill, she shouldn't do it for him. B. Carter Walton's Flirtation The bold and the beautiful recap for Monday, September 30th shows Hope telling Carter that the last man who saw her in lingerie took her son and relocated to another country. Carter discusses the curse of office romance. Hope discusses Carter and Quinn Fuller Foresters, Rena Sofer sorted background. Carter isn't happy with going behind everyone's backs, but he admits it was exhilarating. Finn and Steffi continue to brag about Taylor to Eric. The patriarch informs Steffi that, despite the fact that Bridge is together, Ridge cares deeply about Taylor. Taylor and Ridge, according to Steffi, will be connected until the day they die. Is B&B killing off a fan favorite to save Taylor Hayes? According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful B&B, Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, secret diagnosis will be revealed soon. The Forrester family will start scrambling to save Steffi and Thomas's mother from an early and unexpected death. But is there just hope for a fresh heart? Continue reading to find out. Here's what's coming next on Bold and Beautiful. Spoilers ahead. According to the B&B spoilers, Taylor Hayes is dying of heart failure. Taylor's case, according to Dr. Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matusta, is complicated and rare, and she will require the assistance of specialists. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Is B&B killing off someone to save Taylor? Anyone with minimal medical understanding from TV shows can tell you that Taylor will require a new heart to survive. Donating a heart requires the individual to be deceased. Nobody will survive without their heart. So the bold and the beautiful will have to kill off a character to save Taylor Hayes. When has a soap opera ever used an anonymous donor for a life-saving surgery? The unfortunate reality is that most heart donors die unexpectedly. If they have a healthy heart enough to give to save someone's life, they are unlikely to have any other health difficulties. Car accidents account for the vast majority of organ donors. The B&B rumor mill is in overdrive this week, with fan sites buzzing about another death on the CBS drama. Are the authors planning to kill off another character to save Steffi and Thomas's mother, Taylor? B&B spoilers. Taylor Hayes desperately needs a donor. After Luna Nozawa's, Lisa Yamada, killing spree, the CBS soap currently has few spare bodies. Unless TPTB are planning to murder off a major character. Imagine one of the Logan women giving Steffi's mother their heart. Do you believe Taylor will survive? Who will donate their heart? Share your ideas and theories in the comments section below.
Rich Forrester is torn between his past and present in a frenzy of emotional turmoil, as Taylor Hayes insists on facing the inevitable and Steffi Forrester delivers a brutal reminder of her family's turbulent history. The bold and the beautiful continues to deliver heartbreaking scenes that test each character's emotional boundaries, leaving Ridge overwhelmed with guilt, Taylor prepared to face her fate, and Steffi unwavering in her protective posture toward her family. Ridge reels from Taylor's shocking insistence. Ridge has always been divided between his two greatest loves, Taylor and Brooke. He spent years alternating between Taylor's steady, loving presence and Brooke's fiery, unexpected allure. However, as Taylor insists on face her diagnosis head-on, Ridge is reeling from the consequences of her condition. Her insistence on being practical about her fate puts Ridge into a tailspin, unwilling to accept the possibility of losing her again. Taylor's tough attitude surprised Ridge. He is accustomed to her strength, but this is different. She isn't fighting anymore, neither for him or for herself. Instead, Taylor's calm acceptance of her illness makes Ridge feel powerless, which he's not used to. Taylor informs him that she does not want to be pitted, nor does she want others to gather around her out of responsibility or guilt. This altruistic posture just exacerbates Ridge's pain. Taylor's resolve to confront this war on his own is terrible. As Ridge struggles with his own feelings, he is haunted by memories of all the times he has let her down. He can't shake the shame of repeatedly selecting Brooke, even while Taylor supported him and believed in his family. Ridge now believes he is running out of time to make things right. Every moment with Taylor is weighed down by unspoken words, unresolved feelings, and the impending end of her ordeal. Taylor's calm determination. Taylor, being the bold and reasonable woman, confronts her diagnosis with emotional clarity, thus exacerbating Ridge's misery. She is aware of her fate, but rather than succumb to dread, she accepts it gracefully. Taylor does not want to spend her last days dwelling on the inevitable. Instead, she wants to live them meaningfully and with as little drama as possible, a hard order in a family where drama is a constant. Taylor's fixation on controlling the story surrounding her illness is typical of her personality. She has always been a lady of action, someone who takes control of her life, rather than allowing others to define it. This case is no different. However, her courage in the face of mortality is both painful and admirable, and it puts Ridge in a tough position. Her determination to confront her future without clinging to false hope creates tension between them. Ridge, ever the protector, wants to fight for her, but Taylor has already admitted that certain battles cannot be won. Her focus goes to her family, particularly her two children Steffi and Thomas. Taylor is concerned about how they will take her absence, but more importantly, she wants to ensure that they understand her decision not to seek additional therapy. Steffi, in particular, is having difficulty swallowing this tablet. Taylor's calm demeanor heightens the emotional weight of her situation, as people around her struggle to accept her decisions. Steffi's brutal reminder. Steffi, her family's steadfast guardian, is not pleased with her father's fluctuating moods. While Ridge is trapped in a loop of remorse and indecision, Steffi steps in, providing a cruel but essential reminder of how his indecision has repeatedly damaged their family, notably with Taylor. Steffi has always been her mother's staunchest supporter, and she is not about to let Ridge forget how much Taylor has done for him. Steffi details the emotional toll Ridge's actions have had on Taylor over the years, in a confrontation that is as brutal as it is necessary. She tells him that Taylor's anguish over losing him to Brooke has worn away at her spirit, and now that Taylor is nearing the end of her life, Steffi can't help but believe that Ridge's back and forth between the two women has left her mother with little to fight for. Her words hit Ridge like a freight train. Steffi's blunt honesty is a painful reflection of his past, and he can't refute what she says. He is left wondering if his uncertainty and unwillingness to truly commit to Taylor have contributed to her present mental state. Steffi, in her direct and relentless approach, compels Ridge to face the painful truth that, while he loves Taylor, he has always placed his own demands over hers. Steffi's warning, however, is not only about the past, it is also a wake-up call for the present. She informs Ridge that if he truly wants to help Taylor now, he must be fully committed. There were no half-measures or residual sentiments for Brooke that clouded his judgment. Taylor deserves more, and Steffi will not stand by and let her mother be hurt again, especially in her last days. Ridge's Uncertain Future
Ridge is at a crossroads caught between his feelings for Taylor, his commitment to Brooke, and the weight of his guilt. Steffi's remarks have shook him to the core, but they have also sparked his desire to do right by Taylor, even if it is too late to salvage their relationship. Ridge knows he can't change the past, but he's determined to be there for her in any manner she allows. But as Ridge considers his next moves, a question arises. Can he completely let go of Brooke? Can he keep his emotions under control enough to provide Taylor with the assistance she requires? Will his conflicted emotions prevent him from giving Taylor the closure and peace she seeks? The future is uncertain, and as Ridge attempts to negotiate this emotional minefield, the weight of Steffi's reminder will definitely loom over him. His decisions in the next days will not only influence Taylor's final moments, but will also shape the legacy of their love and the future of his relationships with his children. Steffi's position in the family. Steffi's severe attitude toward Ridge originates from years of witnessing her mother suffer. She's seen Taylor give everything to Ridge, only to be heartbroken again and again. Steffi refuses to let history repeat itself as her mother faces her most difficult battle yet. She is taking on the role of guardian not only for her mother, but for the entire family. Steffi's commitment to hold Ridge accountable reflects her own character development. She is no longer the young woman caught up in her parents' drama. She is a mother, a leader, and someone who recognizes the importance of loyalty. For Steffi, this is about more than Ridge and Taylor's relationship. It's about ensuring that her family, especially her children, have a future devoid of the toxicity that has plagued them in the past. Conclusion In the most recent episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Ridge, Taylor and Steffi are caught in the middle of an emotional storm. Taylor's determination to face her fate full-on drives Ridge to confront his own flaws, while Steffi's devastating reminder leaves him reeling with shame and sorrow. As the Forrester family navigates this tough time, their decisions will have long-term consequences, not only for their relationships but also for the legacy they leave behind.